I don't mean to brag or anything, but yes, it's, I mean, they're like literally the best, you know what I mean? And you know, like, they're my angels, they're my angels. So if you hear any background noise, that's the A for Adelie. Shout out to A for Adelie, who is constantly keeping my kids calm while I cry in the bathroom. Anyway, let's get this mother started. So I don't wear primer. Sorry. Also, and I got a new foundation. It was on sale. Let's see if it's my color. So this is the story. kidding me we can make this work you gotta you know i'm gonna use another color i have a five-year-old daughter who goes to school okay she is a bit of a diva right so she will it's better she likes to look good for kindergarten like no one fucking cares also let me point out she goes to a school where they wear uniforms all right so it's not like she's gonna look different from any other person there and she's got this pair of of leggings that she is obsessed with she wore them for a whole week if the, she doesn't have her leggings i've noticed in this one incident that she will fight with me the whole morning no I have to get her ready, plus me ready, because I have to go to work on this particular day. She knows this, so we get up. Usually I look for her uniform the day before. Oh my god, my hair is atrocious. So this day I didn't do it, that was my bad, whatever. I had told her, get up, and I told her, whisper, because brother is sleeping. I can't tell if this is good or not. And she was kind of like, I need my llamas, and I was like, I can't find them. We we woke up late. We have to go. And so she goes, I'm not wearing those. Those are ugly. I picked out like some khaki pants for her. And I was like, okay, okay, fine. And I get her these leggings that I found. They're leggings, so they're not tights. They're leggings. And I tell her, okay, put these on. Put the skirt on. And she's like, no, I need my yamas. Don't make this a big deal because we're already late. Please. And I also have to pick up my mom's kids that go to the same school. I tell her, yeah, we gotta go get the other kids. And by the time we leave, it's gonna be 7.20, which that's when traffic is hitting. And so I tell her, this looks atrocious. We'll just keep blending. <laughs> just put these on. And she goes, no, I'm not wearing this. She's like, I have to go to the bathroom. And I was like, okay, go to the bathroom. I was still getting ready. I was putting my uniform on. I'm not gonna wear setting powder because I'm just gonna take this off right after. <sighs> and then I had to start knocking on the door because she was in there for a while. And I was, I was like, hey, are you done? And she goes, no, I'm not done. I'm not going to school because I don't have my yamas. And I said, please, for the love of Christ, we have to go. And she's like, I'm not going. What, what do I have to do? She's like, get my yamas. The thing is, the tights were in um, the room where the baby was already trying to wake up. And I said, if we go in the room, he's going to wake up. And she goes, I don't care. She proceeds to stay in the bathroom. I'm talking to her, to her through the bathroom door. And I said, open the door right now. I haven't finished. I haven't done her hair. I packed her backpack because I usually that's her responsibility to pack her backpack. But I packed it because I was like, we have to go. She goes, I'm not going. I'm like, open the door right now. And she opens the door. She's butt naked. I was done. I was like, are you kidding me? And I started putting her clothes back on. You're wearing this. Like, I don't, you're not in charge here. I'm in charge. And she goes, that's why nobody likes you. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. To be honest, I don't care. Let's go. We're going. And she goes, I'm not wearing this. And she's like, we are wearing this. Well, as we were walking out, she, she starts opening the door of the room. And I was like, don't open that door. Don't open the door. I swear to God. And she and the door makes a lot of noise when you open it. I'm like, don't open it. So it creaks. Oh my God, my fucking heart fell out my asshole. My baby fell. Do you hear him? Oh, nice. No. Yes! Okay, so then uh, we start walking to my car. And then as we're walking to my car, she's throwing shit at me. She's throwing rocks. She's throwing her backpack. She's like, I'm not picking my backpack up. I'm like, you better pick that up. And she's like, no, I'm not picking it up. I wasn't dealing with it. 
you know you know what i'll pick it up she stops about halfway getting to the car and and i'm like let's go i turn on the car i go get her pick her up put her in the car my mom lives in, like across the street and so i go and i pick up the other kids the other kids already left they were walking to school they said i took too long i'm like i'm sorry i've had these problems it was just my daughter and one, one of my siblings and we get to the school and I realized it was the 100th day of school. My job was to get styrofoam bowls. I don't know for what, the teacher asked for them. I don't question the teacher. And I forgot them. And I was like, okay, get off. I'm gonna go get the styrofoam bowls. I'm gonna come bring it back to the office. They're gonna give it to Miss Ms. Teacherson. She wouldn't get out of the car. So I was like, please, I'll be right back. I'll see you in class, like whatever. She goes, no, I don't have my shoes. Where are your fucking shoes? And she goes, I threw him out the window. Oh my fuck, I almost had a goddamn heart attack. I was like, what? Are you serious right now? You threw your shoes out the window at grandma's house? So then, uh, she can't get off. So I'm like, you know what? I was telling my brother. I said, get off, go to school. So he gets off the car. I boot it back to my mom's house. I find her shoes on the ground. I put them back on her. I'm walking back to the car. And she goes, and she's walking out. And I was like, what are you doing? And she goes, I need to poop. Go. So what am I gonna do? Say no, go, but fast. So I was waiting in the car, cars turned on. I'm still waiting, I'm waiting about five minutes go by and I'm like, son of a biscuit, this girl is not pooping. I come back inside, she's in the room where I told her specifically not to go in because of the baby. And if he wakes up, then mama will be fucking pissed. I pull her out of the room and I was like, let's go. So you were supposed to go to the restroom. That's why we can't, we, I let you get off the car. And she goes, okay, I'm gonna go. And she's walking away and she's like, nobody likes you. I'm like, I don't care. She's walking to the bathroom and, uh, and she's taking her sweet ass time, just like strolling, like she not a care in the world. I am pulling my hair out of my armpits. Like I am so fucking pissed off at this point. Lo and behold, she wasn't pooping. She was taking off her clothes yet again so i already started banging on the door i'm like come out wake up my husband well wake up the baby wake up my poor brother who was visiting me he left that same day he was supposed to stay for another few days and that's when he got pissed off he's like are you serious i'm putting her clothes back on and i'm like i'm crying at this point i'm but every morning it's something it's i don't like these shoes they're her school sneakers. She wants to wear boots. She, she, she wants to wear her Elsa shoes. She wants to wear her fucking high heels. Every day it's something different. She took her clothes off twice. Um, we're driving back to the school and um, she's extra quiet there. I said, you know what, little girl? This is bull crap. I, you're crying over tights. Ew, ew, my eyeshadow looks atrocious. So when I took her to school, I was like, have a good day. And she turns back and gives me a kiss. She's like, I love you, mommy. I'm sorry. All of this because of some damn tights. At the time, I didn't think about, you know, what could she, what she was probably going through. As in, she was probably tired. She was probably just... Not having it that day. You know what? I forgot to do my eyebrows. It happens. Kids or kids get throw tantrums. And if she throws a tantrum at home, I let her throw her tantrums. I let her do whatever she needs to do to get to get her feelings out. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know how to do my eyebrows. I just pretend like I do. <laughs> Dude, I don't think my eyebrows even match. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Whatever. Eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, so. Whatever, we're gonna leave them like that. Like that, because I'm done with the story and I'm done with my face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Ew. I hate my eyes. So we're gonna go with a different color. beautiful <laughs> that's it let me tell you something else today today picking him up from school i ask her how was your day and she goes don't talk to me Called. 
Go to sleep. Atrocious. Look it up. But anyway, have a good day. Bye.